Hi friends, I'm Dr. Prabhut. I'm again back with one more video. I hope you are keeping well. Today I bring to you a very interesting topic, food and mood. Actually, I've published articles in PF India bulletin and food and beverage newsletter article on food and mood and that was liked by many of you people and then I thought why not to bring with this video on food and mood. Today the condition is that from last 45-50 days we have locked up and the so called cool people are also now showing their own colors and our intolerance level has little disturbed. We are becoming short tempered, we are getting irritated, the mood cycle is getting swing and so and so forth. Let's understand what happens to this mood. By the way, some people are so called cool, some people are short tempered, some people are very hot in the temper. And why? There is something to do with the genetic, there is something to do with the practice and there is something to do with the food, what you eat. So let's take the chance and let's understand what happens to the eating part. And we will do with the science part. It is not something what just a physiological part. It is a more mental and neurological part of the food. There are 43 types of neurotransmitters which resides here. And these neurotransmitters are responsible for your personality and specifically to bring some kind of mood to your complete body. So now, some neurotransmitters are responsible for good mood, some are for the bad mood. What are those bad mood? Bad mood is like depression, you feel very negative, you feel less of energy, you feel something anger within, some people show the anger, some people keep the anger with you, but they are not having any energy less of creativity. These all are the bad mood patterns. The good mood patterns, the people are bubbling, energetic, having creative mind, having positivity, all those things are good mood personalities. So this 43 kind of neurotransmitters, there are some neurotransmitters which are responsible for good mood. What are those? The classic one is dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin and endorphin and theonine these are the actually if you google it you will find that these are the hormones which are responsible for the happy good creative energetic and the good mood which are the food compounds which are responsible for to increase this adequate sugars yes sugar is important fruit sugar so honey and the fruit sugar, various color fruit, different color fruits, vegetables, various color vegetables, broccoli, cabbage, potato, inadequate quantity, tomato, all color. Then selenium, vitamins, minerals, magnesium, in particularly the minerals, the adequate amount of milk, then adequate amount of fish, adequate amount of, even if you take non-veg, non-veg also, adequate amount. These are the things which are responsible for the good mood. But everything is adequate amount. In the fat, good fat. Like Mufa fat, Omega 3 fat, Omega 6 fat, good fat. Now in the neurotransmitters which are responsible for the bad mood, those are GABA. Gamma, gamma amino butyric acid. Acetylcholine, taurine, cortisol. These are responsible for your bad mood and the food components which are responsible to bring this kind of things are red meat in excess quantity, alcohol, tobacco, inadequate sleep, no exercise. So if you do proper exercise, your dopamine level will increase. If you take too much of sugar, too much of fat, it will also decrease the good mood, good hormones and increases the bad hormones which are responsible for your mood. Exercise is very important. Sunshine, vitamin D from the sun is very important. I know that you are locked up but always you can look at the open window and take the sun indirectly, take the breath, 
take the open air let it sweat don't stay too much in the ac room anyway now in the ac room it is not advisable increase your immunity by having immune boost, boosting capacity foods like turmeric is there uh, then margarine coconut oil is there various uh, kind of immunity boosting foods like garlic is there and many things take balance diet consult your nutritionist on the phone whatever you want to eat eat only 2/3 of that part don't indulge heavily portion your eating size regular your eating size keep the timing try to take sattvic kind of food which is responsible for the good mood if your mood is good you will keep the good mood surrounding if surrounding mood is good the society mood will be good if society is in good mood the state good mood will be good and if the state is good the country will be in the good mood so the food is so important let's stay positive let's achieve to the good food mood and take care of yourself and we'll come back again thanks for watching this please do share take care